Hey, sweetheart. And guess who just came through your window to visit you? That's right. It's me. And my hips didn't get stuck this time. I got your text not too long ago. As soon as you told me you were feeling lonely, I came rushing right over. No way I can leave my good boy alone when you need me, sweetie. I'm like your supergirl. Well, maybe superwoman would be more fitting since uh, I am a bit on the older side. But you don't mind, right? That's what makes you my superman. I'm not sure if superwoman is a thing though, but I guess it doesn't matter. All that matters right now is you. Since you've been feeling lonely, I thought I could keep you company. So, here I am. <laughs> I'm glad you texted me, actually. I was feeling a bit lonely myself. Well, I always feel lonely without you. But a good way to cure that loneliness is a nice hug. So, what do you say? Would you like to be a good boy and give me a hug? <laughs> I'd be happy if you did. I think I might even give you a reward if you do. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you what the reward is until you hug me. Where's the fun in telling you? I can promise you that you'll be so excited to get it from me, though. Ah, oh, there we go. Didn't I tell you that a hug would be a nice way to deal with what you're going through right now? I feel so at peace with you. You're such a good boy for letting me enjoy this moment. I know that this is about you, and about me trying to comfort you, but I can't help it if I'm overjoyed to hug you. You're such a sweet, good boy. It's my natural state to be obsessed with you. Why else do you think I keep a few strands of your hair inside my locket? It's because you're so precious. And I love you. <gasps> Wait, remind me. I did ask you for the strands of hair, right? Before I took them from my necklace? Oh... I'm so sorry, sweetie. I must have forgotten to ask. I didn't mean to overstep my boundaries. Again. Tell you what. I'll give you another second reward later, okay? I'm sure I'll be able to think of something that will give you pleasure. But we can think about that later. Since you're hugging me, I still have to give you your first reward. Hold on. Excuse me for a moment. I'll have to get it from my bag. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Ta-da! I know it doesn't look like much. And, well... That's because it's a key. But it's not just any key. It's the key to my house. 
I figured this way you wouldn't have to worry about being so lonely anymore. Anytime you feel lonely, you can just come over to my place. I'm thinking you're not going to want to come through my window after all. Though, I suppose if you did, your hips wouldn't get stuck like mine did. But I'm getting off track here. I felt like this was a good way to comfort you. And take care of your needs is all. And good company is a need. Just like hunger or thirst. And you're my huggable good boy, so you know I'll always drop everything to take care of your needs. Any of them. So anytime you feel lonely and you want to talk or even just to be with me, feel free to come on over. It doesn't matter what time of day or night it is. You can come whenever you like. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you name it. Even if I'm not awake, I don't really mind. So, for instance, if you ever feel like you're just dying to cuddle someone, Come visit my place. You can walk right in, even if I'm asleep. And you can slip right into my bed and cuddle me. I give you full consent. And my place isn't even that far from you. It's walkable. I moved houses just so I could be next to you after all. But even so, if you want me to give you a ride or anything like that, just give me a call. Text me if you prefer it. Whatever makes you more comfortable. I just want to comfort you and love you. Because there isn't anything in the world I love more than you. Since you're my wonderful, good boy. I love you so much. I know I say it a lot. But that's just because it's true. So I hope it's not a bother. When I say I love you so much, you don't think it's a bother, right? I'm probably just overthinking things a lot. You like it when I tell you I love you, don't you? Uh, I mean, of course you do. You called me over here just because you wanted some attention, right? And there's nothing wrong with calling me over for attention. Since I love giving it to you. Always love getting attention from you too. Well, I guess you didn't really call me over to visit. I visited on my own initiative. But still. What I'm trying to say is. You are my good boy, and I love you. I don't know why I'm making things so complicated. The truth is that I love you. I love you. I think about you all the time. Whether I'm with you, or whether I'm all alone without you. I'm without you much more often than I'd like. 
So it made me really glad to get your text, actually. It gave me an excuse to come and visit you. And I always want to visit you. <sighs> I'm a bit afraid of coming across as too overbearing and pushing you away, though. I think those fears might even be justified. I mean, I made a copy of your key that one time. I don't know if that's why you changed your lock. But that's got to be overbearing of me, right? So I'm always afraid you'll get sick and tired of me, you know? But you're always telling me how lonely you are when I'm not around. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel secure. Like I don't have to worry about getting hurt by you leaving me. I'd hate that. I'd hate for you to leave me. Oh, I don't know what I even do. But you'd never leave me. Right? Because you're my good boy, and because you're lonely, just like me. I'd never leave you either, of course. You're a permanent part of my life. I couldn't exist without you. I can only get out of bed because... I think about how maybe I'll be able to see you today. I can only go to work thinking maybe I can use my next paycheck to buy you something nice. I just can't express how much I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I could never let anything try to take you away from me. I think that's why I always tend to cling on to you. I know I always get so clingy, huh? Whether it's grabbing onto your arm, or putting my arm around you, or always holding onto your hand. It just makes me feel so... Secure, when I can cling on to you like that. The feeling of you against my hand, or against my arm, it's all a reminder that you're still here with me. It's a reminder that you're mine. And I'm yours too, of course, sweetie. It's my pleasure to be able to help you. I just wish I could help you more. When you texted me about how you were feeling lonely, I just... Uh, I wish I could have been right next to you as soon as I got that text. Because if you're feeling lonely, uh, I don't want you to have to suffer through that. You're too good for that. You're too much of a good boy to have to go through that. But you know, you don't have to suffer this alone. I gave you my key, so you can come over whenever you'd like. But it doesn't just have to stop there. If you'd like, you can move in with me. I think it would be a good environment there for you. It'll just be the two of us. There's no one else to bother you. <laughs> Other than me. But I'm not a bother. Right, sweetie? And don't you worry. I always keep the place super spotless and clean. Because I want it to look the best, just for you. 
so I'm sure you'll find it a welcoming experience. And if you'd like, as much as it pains me, I don't know just how close you want to be with me. But if it's too much to share a room with me, which I can understand by the way, you can have your own room all to yourself. I'd only enter when you let me. I love you, and I want to be close to you. But I'm trying to respect you, and not overstep your boundaries. See, sweetie, aren't I treating a good boy like you just right? But if you want to share a room with me, I'd be delighted. I've always dreamt of that. I've even had a big bed from the start, just in case you ever wanted to share it with me. And you can share my bed with me. You're a good boy, so I have to treat you right after all. And while I'm sharing my bed with you, who knows what else I might want to share with you. I might even think of something I can give you for your second reward that I owe you. Doesn't that sound nice? Well, wanting to move in with me is a very big decision to make. Tell you what, I don't think you've ever had a thorough look at my place. How about, for now, I can take you to my place and give you a tour? Then, we can go from there. And while we're there, just the two of us, with no one else around. You can tell me if there's anything you want for your second reward. Ask for whatever you like, sweetie. You know I could never say no to you. Because 